Hey, welcome to the show, my math detectives. Today, this is a very challenging math puzzle, but it's super fun. If you want to try this on your own and hit the pause button, and when you're ready to check it with me, hit the play button. All right, let's go ahead and begin. And at any time you want to pause it, go for it. If you're going to solve this problem and you're having, uh, you know, some questions there, some difficulties, try these right here. This row right here and this row work together. All right. Okay. So this problem right here, this could be different variables. For instance, if this was a six, this has to be a six. So that would be 12 and then 12 plus three would equal 15. But if I put the six right here and this it, number would be the three, six plus some number is not going to be a three unless it's a negative. So it's this is not going to work out. So we had to bring the value of these numbers right here, have to bring it down. So five and five would be, uh, this would be 10 and uh, 15, still not going to work out. All right. So let's take a look here. And, and if that was a five, that would be a five plus zero equals five. And yes, this would work out, but when you bring that down here, this would be zero plus minus five equals three, not gonna work out. So the one that does work, if you found that out, is a three. So I'm gonna put three and three right here. So three plus three would be six. Six plus, what is it, 15 minus six, nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three everywhere I see a green circle. There's a three here, a three there, and a nine for every star. Put a nine there and a nine there. So three plus what number equals nine? Six. So I'm gonna put a six here, a six there, a six here, and a six there. Six minus, and I forgot to put a three here, six minus three does equal three. Okay. So here is another challenging part of this equation. And if you want to pause it and try it on your own and hit play when you're ready to check it with me, we have to use order of operation with this. We just simply can't go nine plus six and then divide six and then minus three. We need to use order of operation. So order of operation is you do what's inside parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication and division from left to right, and addition and subtraction from left to right. We, we use that to keep consistent with all of our uh, problems. So we need to do this part here. Six divided by six would be one. So I'm gonna put a one here, rewrite the problem, nine plus one minus three. We finished our third step, multiplication and division. The fourth step is subtraction and addition from left to right. So I just simply go that way. So nine plus one is 10 minus three. So three, or 10 minus three would equal seven. Sent from heaven. How'd you guys do? Hey, leave a comment down below. I'd sure love to hear about that. Also, I would love it if you'd hit subscribe. Um, check out my other channels. I have some other channels. I just need some more subscribers on there. I'm trying to get another uh, math channel going for you. Um, it is the Learning uh, Fun Channel. And I even have some plans uh, later, probably next year, to do another uh, math channel. So I have a lot of cool things coming up. And I have an outdoor channel out there. So um, I hope you're being safe out there. I hope you're having fun. And we will talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.